How's it going guys? I just uh, wanted to do this real quick and just kind of show a proof of concept on this little machine. I'll just try to go over it real quick. I went with this one. It's the same price as the Small Harbor Freight one. I drilled out, drilled out the drain. I'll show you where I got that drain out of and I uh, bought that on eBay for thirty dollars uh got that clear hose at depot got that little pigtail air hose at harbor freight for like three bucks this is pretty much all harbor freight so with this little shallow unit and i i i went with this one because number one i like that it won't leak everywhere and number two, look at the quality of the gloves. That's all, uh, it's like warts on there. But the, the quality of gloves is just a million times better than the Harbor Freight unit. So, all right, let's see if I can zoom out here. I had to build a little stand for it because it gets shallow. And, uh, I had to... I had to put that uh, bigger pipe in there because the 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 flow of water going in has to go out just as fast. So I'll turn it on here in a second. But uh, I was able to do it in this little five gallon cap bucket. It seems to work perfect for the submergible sump pump. And yeah, so I was able to mix it up at. Um, I was doing five pounds of media and the super fine, super, super, super fine. The 173.25. And uh, I was able to get that down at Granger. So you just call Granger and you they'll, they'll have it in stock and uh, just go down there and get it on will call. But it's like 67 bucks. So I did one gallon of water to... I mean, no shit. Two gallons of water to five pounds of that. So in the bucket, I put three gallons of water and seven pounds of glass bead. So, dude, it works perfect. I'll turn it on in a second. All right, and then uh, other than that, I uh, just destroyed this place putting it all together. Uh, and then let's, uh, let's just go over the, the parts I did. So I did my, my pencil holder. Uh, see the kind of contrast to kind of see what a good job it did on my, my pencil holder. And that's just uh, the straight fine glass. And all these are. So I did this whole boat uh, gas cap that I've. This is off my first boat from 20 years ago. And uh, I did a cover. You can tell. Uh, so I'm going to do another cabinet with the pressure washer in it. So you can take the wand off and get a reducer at depot. Uh, I think it's a 3 8 to an M1, which is the pressure washer adapter. So I'll have a cabinet just to blow off all this grease because I don't want all this crap in my uh, in my media. I want to kind of keep my media nice and clean. And then I found this uh, steel motor mount that I sandblasted probably a year ago. <laughs> and uh, I thought I'd hit it with the fine. And uh, look how it came out. I almost want to just... Uh, just get a little uh, clear powder coat and just clear it with powder coat. I mean, it's pretty cool actually. So, so I hit that with the heavy, heavy uh, black diamond media at uh, Tractor Supply, which is awesome because you get a 50 pound bag for 10 bucks and it's dustless. It's not silica and it's that, that black diamond sand and uh, it, it just eats it up. <laughs> 
and the the job max uh, spray gun eats it up too all right so that's all that and then uh also i did pick up a this is a slightly bigger compressor uh tractor supply had these uh for 300 bucks black friday so i think it's 30 gallon but i've used the old cheap harbor freight one dude i've had this stupid thing six seven years seven years and i've tried i've purposely tried to blow it up like twice like just so i could have an excuse to buy a better compressor and i this thing will not blow up so <laughs> dude this is a good compressor for i think they're on sale for 120 bucks brand new but literally i got one that has lasted like <laughs> years and years and years all right so since it's winter time i had to make a little shelter to stay out of the cold air and uh so here's my plan so i'm gonna get a maybe that harbor freight cabinet uh on offer up or craigslist they have them used like for 40 dollars pretty much 50 bucks so i'll have that for the the pressure washer so i'll just pressure wash the part off and then i'm gonna dry blast it real quick and then i'll uh polish it and we'll see how that works but I just wanted to do a little proof of concept video. And uh, if you guys have any cool ideas, uh, let me know. Also, this is where I got that drain out of this old uh, RV sink. So that drain uh, is absolutely perfect. You got to have at least, at least that size for the, the volume to go out of the unit. So, all right, so the whole point of this for me is to uh, polish cases and stuff. I mean, uh, give me a break. So, okay, real quick, guys, I'll just, I only got a couple minutes here. Um, I'll just show you what I got. This is my first time using it. So, uh, let me find my air hose. I'll tell you what, let me put you guys down All right, so I got the Harbor Freight foot pedal, the electrical one. It's only $13. And, uh, yeah, I just ran a piece of PVC straight up into a T. And then, uh, put the sprinkler valve so I can adjust the agitator. So I, it'll give me more pressure in the gun if I turn it off. And if I open it up, it'll agitate the slurry down there at the bottom. And then I also, I, this is just another little squirter here just to agitate or to, just to kick up the crap off the bottom, you know, whatever. And then I, I had to make something real quick because I had to, I had to cut all that out so the water flow would uh, go out. So... I got the air on, so if I turn it up, right? Oh, and it does need a check valve, obviously. You see it all run back in there. So if you click on the foot pedal, it stays running. So it's clicking on. All right. crazy all right so i'm just gonna turn on and i'll turn up my air and i'll hit that part in there all right and then I'll, I'll turn up my air i actually i only have the regulator on 90 pounds and i only cracked this thing and it stays at like like six cfm 
does real good. Uh, let me get the light real quick. I do need a, a wiper. Some kind of wiper would be nice. All right, I'm gonna turn up. All right, all right so uh, I'm gonna turn up the air. Look at that. So I, I'm just gonna run it out a little bit here. Sorry, uh, I hate to edit videos. I, I used to do it when I was younger, and now I just don't care. So, like I did one side, so I did, what, that side? But whatever, you guys have seen it a hundred times. Focus. So I didn't do that side, but I did that side. Eh, I don't know. Whatever. I'll tell you what, though. These are these pet cocks are hard to get for TRXs. Shit. <laughs> you have to buy the little rubber rebuild kit, and that's 16 bucks for a couple washers. But all right, guys. So you know, I noticed this thing fills up. You can see the. The slurry what it looks like all right so I'll post some more videos when I get a chance and I, I tried the bigger bucket that's four gallons of water but the submergible pump it just it, that situation didn't work but this taller uh, cat bucket and if you get the four-in-one strength it uh, helps with clumping so, all right, leave a comment, guys. And uh, the job smart stuff is way better than the Harbor Freight stuff. So, tractor supply. Uh, just hit me up with a comment. Uh, I'll make another video shortly. Thanks, guys.